Chapter Six. A new friend. There was there was so much food on the dining room table: roast chicken, potatoes, carrots, bread, cheese. It was more food than Dre had seen in his life. Pass the potatoes, please, Drake said. Griffin pointed to the plate of potatoes. Sparks flew from his finger. As the plate floated over to Drake, he forgot all about wanting to go home. He stabbed a potato with his fork. Is everything supper like this? Drake asked Boo. Boo nodded. Yes, there is always a great deal of good food, he said. But sometimes I miss my mother's soup. Is your home kingdom far away? Drake asked. Very far, said Boo. I come from the east, the kingdom of Empire Song. And I come from the south, added Anna. It is warm there, the cold, and them like it is here. Well, I'm proud of to be from this kingdom, Rory said. My father is a blacksmith. He makes the best horseshoes in our village. Drake missed home. He turned to Griffin. Is there a way I can let my family know I'm okay? Drake asked. The wizard nodded. You may send them a note. He waved to one of the servants. Please bring this boy paper and a quill. A servant gave Drake paper, a small pot of lint, and a feather. Dick cheeks turned red. What? Red, haven't you seen paper before? Drake looked down at his plate. I worked, I worked in the fields at home, he said. I never went to school. I know how to read, but, I ne but, but we never had papers or quills, so I don't know how to write. Lori started to say something, but Griffin gave her gave her a hard look. Bo picked up a quill. I will write the note for you, he said. Thanks, Drake said. Then he told Bo what to write. Dear mother, I am safe of I say I'm safe, so please do not worry. Everything is new and exciting. The king is keeping me well fed. My new friend Bo helped me write this letter. Love Drake. Drake did not say anything about dragons. He thought that might scare his mother. The servant took the note away. Drake yawned. So, oh, where do we sleep? We have rooms in the tower, Bo said. You'll be in my room. Drake smiled. Good. At least he had one new friend here. Suddenly, a soldier stomped into the room. Arise for King Lauren the Bold, he said.